In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the moments and the center of mass, also known as the center of gravity. So what exactly is the center of gravity? Well, let's say you have a book, right? If you try to balance it, there's a point where the book is perfectly balanced. If I release this hand, it's going to be perfectly balanced. And that point is called the center of gravity. So I'm going to give you the formulas. Don't worry too much about what they mean. Once we do the problems, they will make sense. So let's say we're given masses m1, m2, m3 up to a certain number of masses located at these points respectively. Then the moment of the system about the x-axis is this formula. It is very easy. It looks hard, but it's very easy to do. The moment of the system at the y-axis is this formula. And the total mass is just the sum of all masses. And then when you calculate the center of gravity, or it is this point right here, that's going to give you the center of gravity. If you are given a region or a shape, so previously I showed you the book, right? It's a rectangle shape, but this can be any shape. Then the center of mass, also known as the centroid, is this. So the x coordinate and the y coordinate, these are the x and the y coordinates of the centroid. And using these formulas, you can calculate the moments about the x and the y axis. Now let's take a look at some problems. Find the moments and the center of mass of the system of objects that have the masses 3, 4, and 8 at these points respectively. So the first step is to set up this table looking like this. The next step is to use the formulas. So these are the formulas to calculate the moments. And let's start with that. So what is mx? mx is the sum from i is equal to 1 to n of m i y i. Now there are three objects in total, so n is going to be 3. This is simply m1 y1 plus m2 y2 plus m3 y3. So what is m1? Well, m1 is the first mass, that's going to be 3. y1, this is the x and the y coordinate, so the y1 is this one. So 3 times 1 plus m2 is 4, times y2 is going to be negative 1, plus m3 is 8, times 2. This is equal to 3 minus 4 plus 16, and that's going to give you 15. How about my? Well, my is the sum from i is equal to 1 to 3 of mi xi, and that's going to be m1 x1 plus m2 x2, plus m3 x3. So m1 is 3, x1 is negative 1, plus m2 is 4, x2 is 2, m3 is 8, and x3 is 3. That's going to be negative 3 plus 8 plus 24. And this will give you 29. This m right here represents the total mass. So m is the sum from i is equal to 1 to 3 of mi. That's basically 3 plus 4 plus 8, which is 15. The last step is to calculate the center of mass given this formula. So the center of mass located at x bar, y bar is going to be equal to my divided by m. So what is that? That's basically 29 divided by 15. And then mx over m. So mx is 15 over 15, which is just 1. And there you go. These are the answers to this problem. Now, let's find the center of gravity given a shape. So find the centroid of the region below y is equal to 1 over 2 times x to the power of 2 from x is 0 to x is 2. So basically, if you draw this graph, you want to find the centroid between 0 and 2 of this shape or the blue shape. And that's going to be somewhere around the orange point. Here are the formulas. Now notice that you have to find the area under the curve first. And I already explained it in my previous video, but don't worry, I'll re-explain it today. So the area under the curve is just the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. So what is f of x? f of x is the upper function. So that's going to be the upper function, which is... 1 over 2 times x to the power of 2. How about g of x? g of x is the lower function, and that just is the x-axis. 
So g of x is simply equal to zero because that's just the x-axis. This is going to be the integral from zero to two of one over two x to the power of two minus zero, but we don't need to write that. If you solve it, this will give you four over three. Let's solve for x bar and y bar. So x bar is equal to one over four over three times the integral from zero to two of x times f of x, which is one over two times x squared minus zero. This will be three over four times the integral from zero to two of one over two x to the power of three dx. And this is simply three over two. Y bar is equal to one over two times four over three times the integral from zero to two of f of x squared. So that's going to be one over two times x squared. And this entire thing to the power of two minus g of x to the power of two. And g of x is zero, so zero to the power of two is zero. This is equal to three over eight times the integral from zero to two of one over four x to the power of four dx, which is just three over five. We found x bar and y bar, and you can write this as the answer. How about mx and my? Well, if they ask you to calculate mx and my, they will give you the value of p. Let's say p is 1. They will say p, which is the density, is equal to 1. And then you just plug in the numbers and the values, and you calculate it, and it will give you the answer. Let's do one last problem. Find the centroid of the region bounded by the line y is equal to x. That's the pink line and the parabola y is equal to x squared and that's the yellow parabola. So in this example, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. What is f of x? f of x is the upper function and we want to find the centroid of the blue shape here. And obviously the upper function is the pink line, which is simply x. g of x is the lower function. That's going to be the yellow parabola, which is x squared. So go ahead and use these values, plug into the formula. At the end of the day, the answer is x bar, y bar is equal to 1 over 2 and 2 over 5. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And I also hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe.